Gordy Howe is one of the most respected and talented players in NHL history, but as much as he was respected, he was also feared by many, as the man they called Mr. Hockey is what many would call an absolute freak of nature. To be deemed a freak of nature, one must be insanely gifted and possess a handful of athletic qualities that help separate themselves from the competition. Gordy Howe dominated the 50s and 60s mainly due to his pure strength, as he was never afraid to lay a beating on the opposition using his physical frame to his advantage. Howe delivered hard and brutal checks, but was also known to drop the gloves and dominate against the league's biggest heavyweights, causing him to be feared league-wide. Throughout his NHL career, he would finish with a total of 1,685 penalty minutes, and he would fight so often that it became one of the three steps in scoring a Gordie Howe hat trick. A Gordie Howe hat trick is is a rare accomplishment that can only be completed if a player scores a goal, tallies an assist, and gets in a fight all in one night, something that Gordy himself surprisingly only did twice throughout his long career, a career that saw him play through four decades and four presidencies. Howe entered the league at the age of 18 and retired at the age of 51, and he was able to do this due to his durability and work ethic. He was as strong as an ox which not just helped him physically, but also offensively. His leg strength made him a powerful skater, and because of his body, he was able to push off defenders and bulldoze towards the net, making him extremely hard to take down. How had a powerful shot and a dangerous release. And all throughout his career, Gordy had the unique ability to adapt to the way the game was changing, allowing him to play as long as he did. How was one of the NHL's greatest players of all time, finishing with a total of 1,800 850 points, but he was also one of the NHL's first athletically talented players. And in today's video, we'll be looking at some of the biggest freaks of nature in NHL history. And for this next player, we're gonna need to head to Long Island, as although he's up there in age, he's someone you definitely don't want to mess with. If you want to look at a freak of nature, then look no further, as Adeno Chara is one of the scariest athletes in the NHL today. At 6'9", Chara is the tallest player in NHL history and uses that to his advantage. Most would struggle trying to play hockey at Chara's height, as not only would it be hard trying to maintain control of the puck, but speed and agility would be extremely hard for someone with Chara's frame. But with Big Z, none of that seems to matter, as although struggling during the beginning of his career to catch up to the opposition, he would evolve into an elite two-way defender and constantly manhandle his opponents. Chara is a literal wall when at his best, as due to his height and physical strength, he's known to shut down the best of the best thanks to his large frame. You also don't want to challenge Zidane Chara, as not only will he body you if ran at full speed, but he will also dominate when the gloves are off, as taking a punch to the face or a puck to the knee from Big Z is a nightmare. Chara isn't just physically powerful, but he's a force on the ice as well. Chara's broken a few records at the All-Star game in the hardest shot competition, and when he's guarding at the blue line, it's hard for players to try to create space to maneuver around him, leading to multiple turnovers, which only helps Chara's team. Although he is tall and a physical freak of nature, in terms of overall athleticism, Chara's workout routine is one of the best the league's ever seen, and plays a big reason as to why he's stuck around for as long as he has. Chara's work ethic alone is what separates him from the rest, as his ability to constantly push himself is what helps him continue to get stronger, and what also makes him such a valuable asset on any team, even at the age of 44. Big Z's gone back to where it all began, and although he's struggling to keep up with the speed of the game, he's still able to answer the bell and stick up for his teammates when needed.
All throughout the season, we've watched as Alex Ovechkin shatters the record books in hopes of taking down Gretzky's all-time goal record, and most of us have taken for granted just how lucky we are to be witnessing greatness happen right before our eyes. The players we've talked about have displayed their athleticism through power and physicality, and Ovechkin has done the same, but with Ovi, we'll mainly be focusing on his goal-scoring abilities, as his ability to put the puck in the back of the net is something very few players possess. Ovechkin's a freak of nature due to his dedication, commitment, skill, and toughness. Before Ovechkin was a lovable underdog, chasing records and scoring at will, he was actually one of the most hated players in the NHL. As when Ovechkin laid out a hit, it was both vicious and brutal. Throughout the early 2010s, Ovechkin was the player that you loved to hate, as he had it all. He would rock opponents at center ice with a bone-crushing hit, and then immediately drive towards the net and score. Pure dominance that is still showed to this day. But the Russian machine back then showed no mercy. The OV nowadays shows a bit more remorse, although the Ottawa Senators probably beg to differ. <laughs> Ovechkin is an absolute freak whenever he gets involved, as whenever the game's on the line, Ovi lets loose and becomes 10 times as dangerous. He has a cannon of a shot, and his one-timer is a rocket. His ability to not only possess a powerful shot, but have swift and smooth hands makes him a dual threat in the offensive zone. Not many players can average 50 to 60 goals a season, yet Ovechkin does it on a yearly basis, practically owning the Rocket Richard Trophy. Ovechkin is a lock for the Hall of Fame. And so is Connor McDavid, who's a freak of nature in more ways than one. When Connor McDavid was drafted, he was destined by scouts to become the next face of the NHL. As McDavid was a hockey prodigy who was getting looked at years before he became draft eligible, and once finally arriving into the NHL, and over the last several seasons, we've seen McDavid evolve into one of the greatest players of all time. McDavid isn't a freak athlete in the sense that he's big or strong or very muscular, but rather due to his pure hockey excellence, as he is leagues ahead of the competition, sometimes looking like he's in a league of his own. It doesn't take much for an average viewer to know what makes McDavid special, but what separates him apart from the rest is that he can take as many strides as your average player, but can outskate them twice as fast as anyone else can. McDavid's ability to control the puck at full speed is something many haven't witnessed since Pavel Bure, as he's able to bulldoze throughout an entire team through pure willpower. Throughout the last week, we've seen McDavid do this. All while making it seem effortless. McDavid's goal scoring ability, combined with his elite speed, is what makes McDavid so complete. Not many players can notch over 100 points in 56 games, but he did exactly that. And this season, he's on pace for at least 180 points. McDavid is the face of the NHL, and shows that there's other ways one can be deemed a freak of nature. But before we got to see the rise of Connor McDavid back in the 1990s, the Penguins got to enjoy a speed demon of their own. When he first entered the NHL, Yarmir Yager was absolutely insane, and he had fans' jaws consistently hitting the floor. Yager was able to dazzle an audience on a nightly basis for more than one reason, and one of those reasons being his mullet. But Yager's ability to fly past his opponents was something to admire. He was always a strong skater, but his agility is what separated himself from the competition. When in his prime, Yager was a consistent 50 to 60 goal player who produced three 100 plus point seasons in four years, including being one point shy of 150 in the 95-96 season. When talking about Yarmir, you also have to talk about his drive both on and off the ice, as even at the age of 49, Yager is still playing hockey now back in his hometown, and the reason why he's stuck around as long as he has is due to his insane work ethic. Yager once mentioned that, quote, the work ethic has never 
never been a problem. I came from a family in which hard work was every day. Now, earlier, when we brought up Chara's longevity, we failed to mention that although he is still around and dominating physically, that his statistics have been on the decline. But not with Yager, as at the age of 43, he posted 66 points in 79 games with the Florida Panthers, and this season in Clodno, at the age of 49, in 20 games, he's posted 15 points. Yager's still around, and his point totals are still consistently good, but Yager's ability to maintain in great physical shape and produce at an elite level at almost 50 years of age proves just how much of a freak athlete Yager really is. Here's some fun facts. Back in 2017, when Yager signed with the Calgary Flames, he was older than four NHL head coaches and was almost as old as then Flames coach Glenn Galutzen. And 12 of his teammates in Calgary were born after he was drafted in 1990. But perhaps the best Yarmir Yager fact is the one that comes from the man himself. As when being asked a question about who his favorite NHL player was, he gave the best answer out of everyone in that entire segment. Hi, I'm Yaromir Jagr from Kladno, Czech Republic. My favorite player growing up was Yaromir Jagr. <laughs> 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 <laughs>